Today we're standing in a clover grass field mixture. We are on the way with the Fint slicer and the Fint uh, 724 uh, Vario here. And we are standing in a field where controlled traffic farming is practiced on a 12 meter system. And uh, together with me, I have uh, Michael Nørmark here, a uh, senior scientist from Aarhus University. Thank you. Tell me about some of the benefits of controlled traffic farming in this kind of situation. Uh, we have done some experiments in the past and uh, also studies in international studies is showing that controlled traffic farming, when we are talking about clover grass fields, does have an increase in, in yield by maybe 10, 13 percent because of you are not driving on the clover. Clover is very sensitive for traffic and of course the soil is left untrafficked uh, during the whole uh, harvest operation, which is really showing that we have an increase in yield. That's interesting. So you're actually saying there's two factors uh, affecting this. We have the soil compaction, which of course uh, have a, a restriction in root growth. Yes. But you also say that we also have an impact on the foliage, on the canopy. Yes. So actually you're telling me that you're actually damaging a, a large proportion yeah. of the leaf surface if you're not doing control traffic. Yeah. That's interesting. Yes. Also, and, and the thing is that when we are looking at a 12 meter system like, like here, uh, or even a nine meter system, studies have shown that we are going from about 80% of the area that has been trafficked without using controlled traffic farming to about maybe 20%, only 20%. So on this farm, they are only trafficking on, on 20% of a, of a field like this. And this, this is why some of these 10 to 13% yield increase comes from. So controlled traffic farming actually do have a significant yield impact. How about the quality of the forage using controlled traffic? Is there an impact or an effect right there? We are looking at the, the, the relationship or the distribution between clover and grass. And uh, we, we need a certain relation there. And, uh, and the thing is that if you have a very healthy soil, it is much easier to control the clover uh, amount by, for example, fertilizer level or the cutting height and so on. You're much better controlled because you know that the soil fertility has increased within uh, between the tracks uh, and in that way it might the management of, of the fields uh, may also improve uh, because the soil fertility is more even distributed between the tracks instead of if you are driving with heavy trailers and so what you're actually telling me is that controlled traffic has an impact on the distribution and the relationship between clover and grass mm -hmm. so we actually have an impact here on also the protein content because we know clover do not like to be tracked and soil compaction. So the less you be running on the fields, the higher protein content of the forage do we achieve. Mm. That's interesting. One last comment I want to make here is that the, the enabler in order to do a controlled traffic is to have a guidance system. And here we're working with the Fent guide running on RTK. That means two centimeters accuracy and they have fixed trim lines in order to make this uh, move forward. And the trim lines, way lines, are distributed along all the tractors and forage harvesters that's working on this field in order to achieve that. Michael, you've done some measurements here in the field. I've done some uh, just demonstration plots here just to, to show uh, the, the yield uh, of these uh, trim lines or way lines and also in this controlled traffic farming uh, in between. The, so I've measured the, uh, the height of the canopy. I measured the, uh, the, the, the weight, the green biomass uh, weight here uh, by cutting a, a quarter of a square meter. And the yield here is uh, in this particular field, it's around 20 tons of green biomass per hectare. And uh, when we are walking through here, we can see that there is a, a very good composition of ryegrass and clover here between the way lines. And when we come to this 
particular way line here where we can see absolutely no clover at all and the ryegrass is also struggling. So this is a really a good example of, of damage to the, um, to the crop. And also when I do this very uh, limited uh, demonstration plot here, it is actually the half of what we are seeing uh, between the, the... So we're looking at 10 tons per hectare of yeah. yield right here in the track? Yes. Compared to 20 tons yeah. per hectare over there? Yeah. That's this a is also, difference. This is exactly what we are seeing in, in research. When we are driving a lot of vehicles on uh, clover grass, we are seeing a, a yield reduction. Mostly because of the damage to the clover. Okay. Thank you, Michael Nørmark, for being here today and tell us a bit about uh, controlled traffic farming and the benefits of that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>